Hello and welcome. Thanks for stopping by uh, to All My Art and Soul. I'm Michelle Holden, mixed media artist, and today's video is of Earth and Sky number 13. I, at the beginning, I just choose a collection of my uh, hand-done hand collage papers, as you can see. Some of these in this video are um, mixed media works on paper that didn't turn out or were the beginnings of. And I just somehow just realized that why don't I use these as my collage papers? So these are the kinds of collage collage paper process that I'm going to be showing you. Um, and this video, I uh, decided, well, why don't I tape up the paper first before I show you? So this will save time. So I'm grabbing some of the uh, acrylic markers. These are Sharpie, but I want to get uh, another brand, uh, the Posco brand. And uh, I think they have bigger tips. And uh, these ones are okay. They do their job. But I just think uh, more variety of color and I, I can't wait to order them. Anyway, I decided to just activate the surface in a completely different way. Most of the marks will end up being covered up. And uh, another reason for using these markers is that they dry quickly. So I think I will use them more. And in, and in this piece, I'm experimenting with, uh, as I was in my larger paintings, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see uh, I, I named it in the studio whenever there's a work in progress. Um, it's been quite a journey, this large piece, but I think I'm almost done. Anyway, uh, just experimenting with putting another something else on top. It doesn't have to be a very thin white. Uh, I think this was a, a titanium white, which is slightly translucent, and just pushing back the previous layer. Instead of, which I did on my large painting, and regret, covering it up completely with gesso. Uh, don't do that. So just leave the precious, uh, the colors underneath showing. If you want to cover a lot of it, it's all in the opacity of the next layer or not. So as you can see, I'm just, oh, I'm tearing up the blue. Uh, and in my mind, I was thinking, okay, I've used this a lot in my other pages. Let's just put that to the side. And then I realized, oh yeah, I wanted a, a big black uh, series of dots and let's see what the Brer can do. Um, in retrospect, um, I would have liked if I used black um, like I did in my affirmation pages. So I will be getting back to that where you just leave a, a long line uh, directly out of uh, uh, the, the container, the tube, and then the brick can really create some really cool things. So these are oil pastels, they're just a soft oil pastel. And uh, I just totally didn't have a plan. And I love that. I just absolutely love that. And that's the whole point of these journal pages. Not to come um, with any plan, if anything, maybe, okay, a blue, an orange color, or a value intention. So this is that heavy, oh, I don't even know what kind of paper it is, but it's like a heavy uh, manila paper. And first covered in black acrylic, a few layers, and then stenciled numbers on it. Just on top of each other, random, in different positions. This is another piece, just a leftover, leftover piece of uh, paper. I think it's copy paper. Uh, rolled on with a brer in different colors. And then I just decided, well, yeah, let's just put this turquoise piece down in the corner. So you can divide your, your area into many armatures. Armatures are the shape of the composition overall that you want to approach your piece. Um, you can do it in thirds, 
You can do it in horizontal uh, of many different six, uh, and it's always good to use an odd number. Uh, but then, which there's a way that I always end up, and sometimes I'm not aware of it. So you you need, it is helpful to bring this t to more of your awareness uh, using the quadrants, using the four grid, or some artists call it a simple grid. And uh, this piece, um, old textbooks, I think it's a science textbook, lots of really cool images in it. Really old, I think it's in the, as you can see, it's, it's explaining how computers work. So I thought, oh, this is really cool. And of course I chose it for the pink and the turquoise and those, that nice Titan buff um, uh, value. And in the lower right hand corner, you can see I'm using my favorite Titan buff and it's a very light blue. And I'll use that with manganese or Payne's gray. So there's that piece that I'm going to, uh, uh, yes, that was a, on a mixed media paper. And I think it's just too busy or again, I thought, no, I do that all the time. I wanna do something different. And the blue one that I just picked up is uh, manganese with white, I believe, uh, on the jelly plate. And then I just used a, a nice dull point because you do not want to scratch your jelly plate. And uh, just that pretend writing. That uh, some old atlases, old atlas books or maps are great. Uh, especially if you work with the lighter, for lighter values of the blue and the green. And there's that nice green. That's that old style green. I discovered this from another artist too. You can use, you can make that color easily with, um, oh, it's a very dark, a dark cream, a Prussian, or not Prussian blue. Um, I'll get the color and put it down in the comments, along with ochre and white. And uh, it really, really turns out. Now, the marks that I'm making here was, is with that piece of cardboard a little messy, a little chunky, but you know, it's just how this, this piece is going. And that little black piece, again, is just a leftover from the last week's video that I didn't use. And you just keep putting them in a pile and it's above on the table. I've been keeping my table really neat uh, and everything handy for each video. Uh, but there are times, yes, so then I, I didn't know what I was doing with that piece. So I just decided to put it up underneath the black, not over top. And these little sponge tools are fun. Um, they're just, I guess they're a stamping tool. It's just a sponge on the end of a stick. Not that we couldn't even make them ourselves or even use anything else. Uh, they're okay. Uh, they always end up breaking off in the end, but they're pretty cheap. Uh, I got those at Michael's art store. And again, I'm just putting a pattern. Pattern is important, which I'm learning. I still don't use it as much as I should or could. Uh, see how I just set those things back one more layer. And then I'm just using my white Sharpie and just making some kind of uh, dot pattern. I guess these uh, these little these symbols and these patterns, uh, once you get going and you like them, they sort of stay. They stay in your mind's eye, and then they just come up when you uh, are using you know in your intuitive mode. And that's the cool thing about this: um, not thinking and just using your intuition and just spinning into a really cool uh, type of uh, creative process. So this is the China marker, which is so wonderful because it can, it can scratch through the even slightly wet paint. And uh, I really, really like them. Now I just have white and black. 
I know that you can get red. I, th I think those are the only colors offered. I'm not sure, but these are great, great tools. I think we're coming up to the end, close to the reveal. We are. So, if you like this video, if you enjoy this content, please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already. Let's see what this is going to look like. Oh, yes. And in this one, for some reason, the piece on the left, the vertical piece, tears just a little more. Uh, I don't know why it did. So if that happens, then you just go up the other way. You can see that there's a little bit of paper. But uh, you grab that glue stick and just rub it along the edge. And that should just grab it and hold it and it should disappear. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I am getting everything together for the collage paper making video coming up very soon. Uh, there's a little bit more prep in the studio and I think it'll be a part one, two, or three. Uh, so uh, that's it for Of Earth and Sky number 13 as I sign it. And I think I like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.